A good and balanced sleep pattern and good sleep-wake cycle promotes homeostasis to a person's body, overall efficiency, and healthy cardiac rhythm, influencing one's cognitive skills. Good day, everyone. We are the Group 2 of BSN3E. I am Jose Paulo Guerrero, together with my co-researchers, Wendy G. Fermachon, Laurie Del M. Garzon, Kimberly J. Herosa, and Cherry C. Hapitan from the University of St. LaSalle. Today, we are going to present our research titled, Sleeping Patterns and Academic Performance Among Nursing Students. The purpose of this study is to determine how nursing students' sleeping patterns affect their grades, daytime productivity, and focus, which will be utilized as a valuable recommendation for other student nurses to allow them to adopt improved sleeping patterns, thus reducing the adverse effects of sleep deprivation in the digital format of education. And for our objectives, first, determine the sociodemographic profile of nursing students according to sex, age, section, and GPA. Second, identify the sleeping pattern of nursing students during a typical school week, specifically monophasic, biphasic, and polyphasic sleep. Third, determine if there is a significant relationship between the sleeping pattern of nursing students and profile variables according to sex, age, section, and GPA. And lastly, determine if there is a significant difference in the GPA of third-year nursing students grouped according to their exhibited sleeping pattern. And for our hypothesis, first, there is no significant relationship between the sleeping pattern of nursing students and profile variables according to sex, age, section, and GPA. And lastly, there is no significant difference in the GPA of third-year nursing students grouped according to their exhibited sleeping pattern. In the method section, first, a correlational research design was used in the study employed with a quantitative approach in order to show interrelation among variables. A research-made questionnaire survey method is used to collect data disseminated through Google Forms and Facebook messaging. Second is the participants, 159 full-time undergraduate level 3 nursing students from the University of St. LaSalle were selected through a stratified random sampling method that was divided equally in every section. Third is the instrument. The research instrument used is a researcher-made questionnaire. The design of the survey questionnaire includes two parts. Part 1 consists of the demographic profile that includes the age and sex of the participants, the year section, and the academic performance of the students based on the first semester grade point average. Part 2 is the preferred sleep pattern on a typical school week. For validity and reliability tests, Good and Skates and Cronbach's Alphas tests was respectively used. Results Demographic profile of nursing students. In Table 2, for the demographic profile of the level 3 nursing students, the majority belong to the age group of 21 years old and below, of 84.3%. 73.6% were female students and 26.4% were male. They have acquired very good GPA of 65.4%. As for Section G, only has 21 participants while the rest of the section have 23. Sleeping pattern of nursing students during a typical school week. In Table 3, sleeping pattern of the nursing students during a typical school week as a whole, 50.9% of the level 3 nursing students exhibited biphasic sleep pattern. According to Scullin and Al-Abri, biphasic sleeping potentially increased memory and may increase vigilance and alertness. Significant relationship between sleep pattern and demographic profile variables. Results in Table 4 revealed the demographic profile variables that include sex, age, section, and GPA of the nursing students are not an indicator of which sleeping pattern the level 3 nursing students exhibited. Significant difference in GPA of level 3 nursing students according to their sleeping pattern. Table 5 revealed that there were no significant difference in the GPA of level 3 nursing students grouped according to their exhibited sleeping pattern. Even with the contrast of sleeping patterns the nursing students demonstrated, there was no significant difference between the nursing students' GPA. In conclusion, nursing students may freely or involuntarily follow a monophasic biphasic or polyphasic sleep schedule. Most nursing students followed a biphasic sleep pattern according to SPSS analysis of the participants' sleeping habits during a typical school week. According to the findings of this study, demographic profile variables including age, sex, section, and grade point average of level 3 nursing students, it did not reveal a significant relationship with the sleeping patterns exhibited by the level 3 nursing students. Now for our recommendations for the nursing students to see what best sleeping pattern to follow and be applied in their day-to-day -day functioning. 
for nursing administrators to schedule requirements based on what sleeping pattern has the highest nursing participants to achieve students' optimal brain function and better GPA, as well as good sleep and allowance for personal time. For the future researchers who aim to study similar studies with this research topic, they are suggested to conduct experiments with more respondents of equal sample size for sleeping patterns, as this factor variation in the data may yield a different result if administered with the recommended approach. As we end our research discussion, we would like to acknowledge the following people who help us accomplish this research paper. First and foremost, thanks to the Almighty Father for blessing us with the gift of knowledge and guidance to meet the required requisite skills throughout their process of writing the research. To Sir O.J. Jimenez, RNMN, Ms. Sarah Jane Rosales, RNMAN, and Ms. Rika D. Flores, RNMN, our research facilitators in devoting their time to share their knowledge and advice throughout our research. To our classmates, who have been encouraging and supportive. To our parents, for their love, prayers, and unending support for our education. That brings us to the end of our presentation. Thank you everyone for watching.